Hey class, welcome to week two of um, Social Psychology 350. I just wanted to kind of go over a few of the announcements. I know you see typed message uh, below this, but sometimes verbally it's good to hear uh, some things uh, that are up and coming. Uh, first off, uh, you just finished week one. So hopefully um, uh, you have everything submitted. If you're late, message me. Uh, send me an email. It's fine. Uh, this uh, this week, usually the way grading goes when there's just written responses um, and your weekly meetings and quizzes and stuff, usually I get everything graded by Thursday, uh, Thursday, Friday, or sometimes sooner than that. So just keep an eye out on the grade book throughout the week. To see uh, just the grade, not just the grade, but the feedback I give, um, if there's any feedback. Um, so, you know, I know sometimes students don't see all the tutorials because they're busy first week of class. So if, if there's point deductions, I'll send you the tutorial or video of your assignment going over it if need be, which is fine with me. Or we can set up meetings to help out with understanding these assignments a little clearer than that. If you need to have things cleared up better than that. Um, and so just kind of want to make sure about that this week. You're going to go over some uh, uh, assignments um, that are pretty similar. You have your, your your practice quiz due by Tuesday, your chapter quiz due by Thursday, and then written responses, of course, due by uh, Saturday night. Uh, there's an added assignment this week. Remember, you start your groups next week. So when you sign up for a group this week, start communicating, okay? I'll show you kind of general area where you sign up, but you'll go into your group forum and you'll start communicating with one another on the time you're going to meet next week, if you choose morning or evening, all right? And you'll see that there's only a morning and evening time slot on Tuesday through Friday. Um, Saturdays, I believe there's just one time slot open and Monday, there's usually a Monday night time slot, okay? So let me show you here real quick. Um, so I'm going to show you from the uh, actual classroom. Um, as you see here, there's this form, activity form of small groups. Um, first come, first serve. All right. So when you click on it, now this is instructor view, so um, might look a little different. All right. So it's considered, it's called uh, a graded quiz because if you scroll down here, and, and of course, if I click preview, if I scroll down here, you might see also here, did you sign up for, did you sign up for a group by self-enrolling? Yes or no, that's usually what you'll see. But here's the instructions. Um, typically, there's about four to five in a group. Sometimes I'll extend it to a sixth member, depending on what the whole week looks like with everybody in groups. Um, but the, here's the instructions you gotta follow step by step. There's this people's tab in here where you'll actually go in there and there's a place to register for a group, okay, where you'll sign up for, all right? So you have to follow the instructions uh, really uh, specifically to help you get into the groups, okay? So I know today's Monday, a lot's going on, but try to get in there as soon as you can to sign up because sometimes students don't um, and then they have work or something come up and they can't really, um, you know, get to, get to a time slot and sometimes it's filled. And these are required meetings. They're required to be recorded by whoever's leading the group at that time. Or, and the group leader doesn't mean that they boss everybody around, just means that they're recording. Um, and uh, then there's a way to submit it in the, the group area. And I'll show a tutorial next week in the announcement on how to do that, okay? On, on how, where to go. but. You should be able to get into your group forums starting this week and communicate as well. Okay. Make sure you pick a time that you all can do it. One more thing to share real quick. Also, you'll see here at the top evaluation research article examples. A lot of students will ask me uh, if I have some examples of research articles that are helpful with uh, understanding what to look for 
in the light in, in the university library. And so you want to go here, and there's two examples right here that are very helpful um, with it. And you'll just click on that arrow, and it'll pop open uh, the research article for you. Okay. So keep in mind, like it's going to go over information, like you know, uh, was it peer reviewed? Yes. Is it experimental? This article says no. Uh, and then this other article here on on constructs, levels of self control, is it peer reviewed? Yes. Is it uh, does it have, is it experimental? Yes. So this helps you decipher between what's experimental and not experimental. So it's a very good uh, resource to go through. Okay. All right. So um, other than that, uh, this week you're going to go over the self uh, and and who, how you how you fit, think, and react, interact in uh, in the world that you're in today. So that that's going to be an interesting topic. Matter of fact, we dive not even just into the self; we dive into narcissism, high self-esteem, false consensus consensus effects, self handicapping. All these terms that when we read them or think, we probably think even myself, wow, I, I've been guilty of those thought processes. So you get to really uh, dive into more of maybe looking in, inside and, 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 and really understanding the self a little bit more and also the surrounding environment around you and how people think. Uh, but this week, concentrate more on how this helps you as an individual understand yourself. Uh, and you're not judging yourself. You're not condemning yourself by actions. You're just looking at yourself to self-improve. Um, and again, I always throw it out there to make sure you pray before you do the reading so that you can actually have the spirit help teach you a little bit more about yourself and these concepts. Okay. So if you have any questions regarding these uh, interesting material, please let me know.